everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this, I guess it's like a display box or it's like a bug specimen box. I made something like this very similar for Halloween um, for 2017 I think it was and it had chocolate bugs in it and it was really cute and I'll link that one, oh I'll link that one in up here somewhere. But this one here has been made using some of the SVG cut files from the new Trimcraft USB that's launching. Um, we all got sent that a few weeks back now and were asked to just kind of, you know, make some projects. So this is one that I've come up with and on the side here you'll see this raised piece of acetate to just give the kind of look of it being in a case. I wanted that to almost be like it was glass and I've also coated all of the bugs with some glossy accents so the actual bugs kind of have some shine on them as well. But these are really, really fun. You'll see them under there, you've got the ladybird as well. That one's still drying just a little bit there, it's a little bit cloudy. And then the tag, that's one of the SVG files. So this is from the sentiments file and all of these bugs are from the nature file. And then all it does is if I just pull off the side very slightly here, so I don't have to undo everything. And it is just the same kind of style box as my chocolate bar box that I done. So you just open it up there and you've got loads of room so it doesn't interfere with the, the actual display piece so this can be kept afterwards and I'm sure there are many of you that have you know some grandchildren or children of your own or even adults that would enjoy this kind of style box. Now of course you don't have to have bugs on the front of it you could easily have some pretty flowers you could have anything with a little bit of dimension because I have actually cut each of these four times and stacked them on top of each other so they have got some dimension to them and I've also popped them on some foam adhesive as well just so they create a little bit of shadow and um, I think they look brilliant. That spider still freaks me out when I look up through the monitor there and I can see it, it looks too real. But um, yeah, really easy to make and just a really nice little box idea. So let's crack on and make it. Okay, so I've already cut all my bugs. I've got my ladybird there, but she's just drying a little bit there. I had to touch her up with some more glossy accents, which is what I've covered them all in here. So I've just scaled these down to about two by two. So I die cut four of each size and you'll find these, as I mentioned before, in the nature file on the USB. So I've got them all ready. They are really fun and um, I think once you add that kind of shine to them, they look really cool. And as much as I'm petrified of spiders, I don't mind holding that one in my hand. And then you've got the ant there as well, but it looks really, really cool. And I've just dressed them all. So this was cut with craft card and I've just distressed the edges there. If I hold it up on that, you can see it a bit better and the bug as well, he looks really good because he's just um, cut on green cardstock but then I've gone around and just again distressed all of the legs. Okay, so you want a piece of cardstock that measures nine by 11 and a half and along the 11 and a half inch side you want to score at half an inch, five inches, six inches and 10 and a half. And then along the nine inch side, you want to score at one inch, seven and a half, oh, seven and a half inches, and eight and a half. Okay. Then you want a piece of four and a quarter by six and a quarter white cardstock. It's entirely up to you, really, this part, because you might not be doing bugs and stuff. But um, this was just kind of like the specimen plate, so that's what all the bugs are going to sit on. And then you want a piece of strong acetate. I'll share all the links in my blog to what I use. And this measures seven and a quarter by six and a half. And along the seven and a quarter side, you want to score at one and three eighths of an inch and five and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, you might have to go over it a few times and then just, I find it better if you fold by hand and don't use the bone, don't use the bone folder, just do it all by hand and then you can kind of, you know, pop it into shape. All right, so that's all the scoring that we need. So you wanna use this piece now and you just wanna go over all of those score lines and burnish them. Okay, so along the long side, you want to have the, the side that's got the half inch and then the one inch piece. All right, so you've got the two pieces. This has just got the one inch and that's the base. And you should have a half inch tab on your left hand side. So down in the bottom here, you want to just cut this small rectangle out of the bottom here. I'm just going to remove that 
and then I'm going to cut a little wedge off of the tab here then come on up to the top here and again cut and you're going to remove the little square and the other rectangle piece okay and then again just take a little wedge out okay so back to where we were again so now you've got this tab formed then along the bottom here you'll have this square in the middle and a square there you want to cut up both those score lines just to the first score line okay and again that one there and then just take a little wedge because these are going to be the tabs that fold inside to form the base so you just want to make sure nothing hangs out like so okay so that's where you should be at the moment and then you're going to rotate the whole thing around and this whole section here so you will have the first score line if you cut down into it like so and then you'll have this square here which again you want to cut down like so but this whole section you're going to remove because this is the back of the box okay and then you want to cut down this one like so and then remove the two at the top and again that one there and with any kind of box where you're going to have a little closure that kind of slots inside with these tabs you always just want to take just a very small amount off just like a slither enough so it doesn't overhang but you want the little kind of piece that folds in to be able to have something to grip onto so you always want to make sure just get rid of that a little bit there that you've got yeah just a little bit there so don't go taking like big wedges off like I did with them these are just little ones I'm just going to take that off there get rid of that score line okay and then with this piece you just again want to take a very very thin amount just to stop it kind of kind of buckling or catching as it goes in but just minor if anything maybe don't even do that until you put it all together and then you can see how much you need to cut off okay so that is everything done there so now with our half inch tab okay so if I light down that's where you should be so this was the bottom that's the half inch tab we're now going to run some glue along that one and then if you fold that one over and fold that one over okay pop it up and you'll see we've got our case I've got a bit of glue in there but that's okay so then with the bottom so this is the top remember with that extra piece with the bottom you want to where you've just stuck this one down where that kind of join is this is the back so I'm going to fold that one down first and then I'm just going to pop some glue all along there a little bit on my tabs fold each of the tabs down keep everything obviously nice and square so you've got nice right angles there Pop a bit more glue on there and then stick that in down and like I said before in the other tutorial you can just grab a ruler and just make sure that's all secure okay and now with this you should be able to pop your sides in and then when you push that little lip in it should you want it to feel really kind of snug like so see I know that's not going to pop out you don't want it to pop out because it's it's pushing against the sides here and also catching on the, the little tabs there so that is now the base that's my box that's all ready for you to put any gifts in so now I want to start arranging my bugs or whatever it is that you may be putting on here you may I don't know put some flowers you could have a nice sentiment but that's just going to stick in the middle and it should have a nice frame so I'm going to stick that down Now I'm going to arrange my bugs. Okay, so that's all stuck down. Now I'm going to use some foam pads just to raise everything a little bit. And I've got these ones here, which are the Dot and Dab range by Trimcraft, but they are black and they'd be perfect for this because obviously you know everything's pretty dark and they're they're just they've just got enough dimension and they're nice and small. They're little squares, so I start with this one first and just stick a few I don't need many but like I said because they're black I can uh, get away with it
Okay, so they are now all stuck down. So next I've got my piece of acetate, so it's obviously all folded. And because I'm using acetate, I'm gonna use my strong red tape here. And I'm gonna be covering the bottom. So on the insides of each of those side pieces, you wanna run some tape right along the bottom of the acetate. Now if you want to, you can wrap the acetate right the way around underneath, but well, one I was just saving acetate. This is obviously easier as well in terms of scoring because you have to, either go into centimetres or sixteenths of an inch because you need it to wrap all the way around so I just figured it's just easy this way so and make sure it's all stuck down I'm going to do one side first make sure you've got no bits or anything underneath this I've made sure mine was nice and clean and then you're going to stick it along the bottom here okay so I'm actually going to keep mine down because the acetate can go flush with the bottom here. So I'm going to kind of slide it like so. It's exactly the same width of the box. And then I'm just going to bring it up carefully. And you just want it to go dark in colour. Can you see it kind of starts to go dark once you've stuck it all down. So what I might do is open that up and then I can go in with my ruler and really push down. It's going dark, I'll rub that a bit more in a minute. And then this side here, I'm just gonna take the backing off there. And again, I'm just gonna kind of, kind of spray it out like that and then kind of bring it in until it, it should kind of all just fall into place but that has nicely because it is slightly raised it's quarter of an inch higher just to give it an unusual look it's got that real it's hard it's hard to pick this up on camera but you can see there it does just look really cool i really like this idea okay so now i've just cut two strips so these are the same length so it's six and a half and they are you just want it to be enough to cover the tape really so this is five eighths of an inch by six and a half and I'm going to stick one over the top like so and then the same on the other side. Okay so that's that all now done so next I just need to finish it off with a little sentiment so I'm going to get something to go along there alternatively you can obviously stick something on the top but I, I think, I just love the profile. Like I said, it's really hard for you to see this on camera, but it really does look like a little specimen box. And you've got that great space inside there for some really cool treats. Okay, so there you have it. Really, really cute, fun little gift box. And I think this is going to be perfect for any children that just love <laughs> digging for creepy crawlies and picking up bugs and stuff. So I was one of those children but not spiders. Anyway, so yeah, I think it's come together really nice. I've just finished it with some of the kind of um, twine there and then my happy birthday tag, which again was from the sentiments file, easy to find. And I've just enlarged that one to three inches. So whatever it was to three inches, it will automatically become that, that height. So yeah, just stick with three inches in width, but it's a nice gift tag. It's a handy one because you can just, you know, print loads of those off and then just write on the back there. So there you have it guys, there is my finished gift box. I really like this, I think it's so fun. I love the shine on the little bugs there, the critters, and I like that it's functional as well. It's a nice roomy gift box there, so you can get plenty of nice little treats in it. But yeah, I think this is gonna be, I mean, it's off to be photographed, so you will probably see that now if you follow Trimcraft on their social media, but um, nonetheless, I'm sure one of the guys there will uh, hopefully use it and give it to maybe one of their children or grandchildren or something. But yeah, so I hope it's inspired you. I hope you like it. The tag was from the sentiment file. So I just enlarged that to three inches long. And uh, yeah, everything else was from the nature file. And then yeah, just that simple gift back. Okay, so there is my finished gift box. I absolutely love how this has come together. I love the shine on the little critters there. And yeah, just love it. So it's a nice roomy box, uh, one inch deep, wasn't it, by, what was the final measurements actually? Because I make a lot of these and then forget what the actual overall dimensions are. So four and a half by one by six and a half. So it's a really nice size. You can get, certainly get some nice chocolate in there. And then that tag there is from the sentiments file and I enlarged that to three inches long so whatever you, when you get it to three inches long it will automatically be that height which is one and a half 
and then just finished it off with some twine and I love it so I hope it's inspired you I hope it's um again if you you know didn't you don't follow trim craft or anything like that at least I'll share their links and then you can head over there there's so much inspiration the craft blog is brilliant I'm always on there having a look and seeing what other people make and stuff it's a, it's a really nice area and you can upload your own makes there as well so that's really really good but yeah have a look at the USB I'll share links and things to whatever I can in the video description below and until next time please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye